In this video, I wanna show you the software that I use to quickly create WordPress installs for my YouTube videos. Now, if you're a web agency owner and you're managing multiple websites for your clients, this would be the same scenario where I have multiple websites for my videos. You would have a website or multiple websites for your clients and you wanna manage everything to do with your clients in the one interface. So now I actually film this as part of a larger video that I'm gonna release in the next couple of days where I show you how to go and create an entire sales funnel using the Funnel Kit plugin and Bricks Builder. But I had Decided that video is getting quite long now. So I cut out this section and I thought, you know, instead of just not posting this, I'll put it out there for anyone that wants to see it. If you do find today's content valuable and you would like to learn more about how this software works, I can go ahead and create a more comprehensive video if you'd like. Just let me know in the comments below or send me an email. But this is a very brief overview again, because it was just an introduction into a larger video that I have been filming. So I do move it quite fast, but you get the idea of how it works. But yeah, this is basically just showing you how I quickly go and create WordPress websites and how you might too. If you like the look of this software, I'm going to leave a link in the description below to check it out. And let's just get into the video. Now, each time I go and create a video for YouTube, I have to go and more often than not create a whole website to go and do that tutorial. So I thought for today, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I create these websites to do the videos. So this is how I go and set it up. It's using a service called Gridpane. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below. So let's go ahead and I'm going to log in. And here I am inside of my account. You can get an idea of what it does. It's basically a user interface that allows me to manage my digital ocean droplets, but you can also connect it to Vulture, a Linode, and so on and do all that sort of stuff. So, so here I have one server and that's for wagepirate.com and I just add my demo websites onto it. So I'll go to sites up here. So I'll create a new site. So I'll go bricksfunnel.wagepirate.com. So I'll put on a subdomain, the server, and then here I'll select my digital ocean server. Now that opens up some other settings here. It's just going to install a blank WordPress install on this subdomain, but you could set up a base website that has all your normal plugins and themes that you use for your clients. And you could just clone that website. That's another feature here inside of Gridpane. But here I'm creating a new website instead of cloning, but that is an option here. Now down here for my SMTP integration, I'm gonna connect this site to my SendGrid account, just so I can send emails doing the demos here today. And then the SSL certificate, I'll make it have my primary domain, just the wagepirate.com one. And then here for the DNS, I can select my Cloudflare account like that, and then I'll click add site. So what this is doing is here in Gridpane, I've actually put my API details for my Cloudflare account. So when I go down here and click add site, it's going to use those API details to add the DNS record for the subdomain for this website, and then it will just install WordPress there. So I'll go ahead and click add site. Now that's building, and you see that's loading down there. So it still needs to create the database and stuff like that. So we'll let that run for just a little bit. So now we get some notices down the side here. So it says that it's been able to add the DNS record into our Cloudflare account. It's created the website and now it's just doing the SSL. Now it says the SSL is done and all the database rewrites have been done. So it says you can close this. So another good thing about Gridpane is I can single sign on to every single website here on the server or on any server that I have connected to Gridpane. So here, Bricks Funnel, if I just click this single sign on, that will load our WordPress website and log us in as the admin user. So here we are. So you can see Bricks Funnel dot wagepirate.com so the subdomain it's all set up here and we're ready to go now another thing that gridpane is really good at is staging so up the top here if i go to staging you can see that i have two active staging installs but this one here that we just created so bricksfunnel.wagepirate.com i can actually have a staging website created very easily here so i just turn this on here so i will actually just do that for now and behind the scenes that's doing everything that we need to do to create our staging website so the staging site creation has has started and that's completed now. So now our staging website is created. It took 10 seconds here to do that. It's very fast to create staging websites, uh, but the site is small, obviously. But this here, I could single sign on to WordPress. I could push from the live site back down to the staging install, or I could go into here and log in here and then make some changes in staging, make sure it all looks good. And then I could push the staging website to live here just by clicking this button. So it's a really easy way to manage your WordPress websites and your server. Now, this isn't going to be for everyone. If you're a web agency owner, this probably makes sense to you. So you could probably see the value in having something like this, as well as the backups that it can do where I can push to not only if we click into here, I can schedule backups that are local on the server, or I can do remote backups and I can do it to Google Drive, Dropbox. And I've actually started using Backblaze, uh, which is like, it's like $10 a month for unlimited storage. I have all my photography backed up there to Backblaze. And what I really 
like about Backblaze is I'm already paying for it for my photography and grid pane can push backups to Backblaze. But this is why I like it. Yeah, so if you're a web agency, definitely check out grid pane. I'll leave a link in the description below. Oh, <laughs>